Objective, subtract fractions with numbers between 1 and 2. Let's start with this problem right here. 1 and 1 half minus 3 fourths. How many halves is 1 and 1 half? It's 3 halves. Let's model it. There's one whole. We'll go ahead and divide it in half. And we're looking at two of those parts. That's only one so far, so we actually need another one. Still also divided in half. And we're looking at one of those parts for one and one half, or three halves. So as we were saying before, we have one and one half equaling one half, two halves, and three halves. Now what we need to do now, though, is to make this into like units to be able to subtract. And then as you see here, we have quarters. So, to be able to get this into force, we would draw another line. So we have force there, and we have force there as well. And this is what we did with our numbers. We actually just multiplied by 2 in the numerator and in the denominator to be able to change this 3 halves equaling 6 fourths. And then so as you see here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 fourths. And now we can subtract that 3 fourths from there. So 1 and a half minus 3 fourths does equal 6 fourths minus 3 fourths. Subtracting off the 3 fourths, we would go there's subtract 1 fourth, subtract 2 fourths, and subtract 3 fourths. So it does equal 3 fourths. 1 and a half minus 3 fourths equaling 3 fourths. Our key was to get like denominators. Here we have 1 and 2 thirds minus 5 sixths. Let's first decompose 1 and 2 thirds. 1 and 2 thirds is really 3 thirds plus 2 thirds. And just as before, we're looking at it so that we have common denominators. So we have 6 there as that common denominator. Let's model it as well. Here's 3 thirds. And then here is another 2 thirds. We'll model it a different way. Instead of shading them in, we'll go ahead and model it this way. This is 1 and 2 thirds. That's that 3 thirds here plus the 2 thirds here. We need to get a like denominator instead of thirds that we are talking about here. So instead of 5 thirds that we are talking about here, we would like a common denominator of 6. So how do we get from 3 to 6? We multiply by 2. And then so if we do that math, we would get 10 6. As you see within our model, we would divide those parts in half there. And we are looking at 6 6 here. 7, 6, 8, 6, 9, 6, and 10, 6, just as our um, numbers were showing us, which does equal 1 and 2 thirds. So 1 and 2 thirds does equal 10, 6. So for subtracting 5, 6 from there, we'll go for our model first. And so we subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6. That leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1 and 2 thirds minus 5, 6 is equal to 5, 6. That was 10, 6 minus 5, 6 equaling 5, 6. Here we have 1 and 1 fifth minus a half. Let's model 1 and 1 fifth first. 1 and 1 fifth consists of that whole number 1 which is equal to how many fifths? Right, five fifths. And then we have another one fifth with it. So five fifths plus one fifth does equal six fifths. If we model it, 
to draw vertical lines to model it. 2, 3, and 4. That's the 5 fifths. 1, 2, 3. Let's make this box a little bit bigger. And 4. That'd be the 1 fifth. And here we have 5 fifths plus 1 fifth, which does equal that 1 and 1 fifth. Here we're subtracting 1 half from it. We want like denominators. So we'll go ahead and draw a line back on across to go ahead and divide it into two parts there. What we're doing with our numbers is multiplying by 2 and multiplying by 2 in order to get 12 tenths. So as you see here, we do have 10 tenths here, 11 tenths, and 12 tenths. We're going 12 tenths minus the 1 half. The 1 half we will also have to convert and get an equivalent fraction for. And then so if we just work with our numbers, we have times 5 and times 5 again in order to get 5 tenths. So we know that this will be 12 tenths minus 5 tenths. And then so we can go ahead and x out 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, leaving us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 tenths. We have 7 tenths there. So that our equation 1 and a 1 fifth minus a half does equal 7 tenths. Here's a problem for you to try. We have 1 and 2 thirds minus 4 fifths. We know that 1 is equal to 3 thirds. We put it together with the 2 thirds. We do get 5 thirds. So we're looking at 5 thirds minus 4 fifths. At that point we can model them. For 5 thirds we know that it is more than 1 and we're looking at thirds to begin with. And then so this right here is that 1 and 2 thirds. Now we're looking at minus 4 fifths. So what we will do is that we will go ahead and get equivalent fractions because we need a like denominator. We can multiply by 5, which is the other denominator. So we have 25 fifteenths as what we will get for 1 and 2 thirds. So 1 and 2 thirds equals 25 fifteenths. Drawing our lines, we'll have to divide that into 5 parts. And so dividing into 5 parts, we have to draw 4 lines there with for each figure. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have 25 fifteenths that we are looking at. There's 15 fifteenths there, and there's another 10 fifteenths there. Minus the 4 fifths, need an equivalent fraction for that as well. So we have 4 fifths multiplying by 3 and multiplying by 3. That's 12 fifteenths that we are subtracting from 25 fifteenths. Crossing them out in our figure, that's, there's 10 right here, so we'll go like this. That's 10 fifteenths, that's 11 and 12 fifteenths. Counting up what we have remaining, we'll have 5 there, 10 fifteenths, 11, 12, and 13, 13 fifteenths is our final answer. So, 1 and 2 thirds minus 4 fifths equals 13 fifteenths. Here's our numbers that show our work, and here's our picture representation of what's going on. Let me show you one last problem. Here I have 5 thirds minus 3 sevenths. You'll notice that this is not a mixed number, however it is bigger than 1, because 5 is bigger than 3. I can model the 5 thirds, just as I was doing before. How many thirds is 5 thirds worth? should have said 3. So there's 3 thirds. And then here is another model with thirds. And as I was modeling before, here is 5 thirds then. Subtracting 3 sevenths from it, I'm going to have to draw some lines within my model. And I draw my 
lines horizontally then. I need six lines. One, two, three, four, five, and six lines within each figure. So now I have divided each of those figures into 21 equal parts. So I have 5 thirds, that's times 7 and times 7 equaling 35 twenty-firsts. I do the same type of thing with the other fractions so that I get equivalent denominators. So I have 3 sevenths here, and I'm multiplying by 3 in this case, which is the other denominator, so I get a like denominator. You'll notice that these are like denominators, 21, 21. 3 times 3 is 9. So that's 9 21st. So what I'm left with here is 5, 35 21st minus 9 21st, which is going to equal 26 21st. Let's cross them out here. That's 7, and then that's 8 and 9 there, meaning I'm left with 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 21st. 26 21st does equal 1 and 5 21st. Remember to give our answer as a mixed number if we do have an improper fraction. So we can work with a numbers approach. The key again is to get denominators that are the same to be able to do your subtraction work. Do make sure to express answers when you're adding and subtracting in simplest form.